how could there be? Nobody even knows we're here. You've just had a long day. Why don't you take a nap, and then we'll go to dinner. Okay. <laughs> a nap. Someone who ticked you off, Tabitha? Drop that, Timmy. And don't touch anything that comes out of this closet. You understand? Timmy may be a dummy, but he's no moron. That's debatable. Where's Fluffy? <gasps> Tabitha, you promised to keep Kitty away from Timmy. Timmy will be good. See that you are. Drink your ma Timmy and no more wisecracks. Here it is! You found what you were looking for, Tabitha? What is it? It's how I'm going to kill Charity and her mother tonight. The whole house! It's even more beautiful in person than in my dreams! Thank you, Teresa. I'm glad you like it, but surely you exaggerate. Not at all, Mrs. Crane. I have dreamt of being inside this mansion a thousand times. I'm never going to forget today as long as I live. You know, you are just as charming as your mother said you were. And lovely, too. Thank you, Mrs. Crane. She's very proud of you, you know. I'm afraid I disappoint her sometimes. No. I don't think so. It's just that mothers can be very protective of their children. As a matter of fact, I'm afraid you caught me in a bit of a mood when you arrived. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Well, it's not your fault. No, it's just I've been rather concerned about some recent attacks on one of my children. Unfortunately, there are some very sick and troubled people in the world who take delight in targeting those of us in the public eye, and someone of that ilk has been stalking my son, Ethan. Oh, no. Oh, it's sweet of you to care, Teresa. But don't give it another thought, because I am going to take care of it. I know it's none of my business, Mrs. Crane, but maybe there's an explanation for whatever's happened to your son. I mean, other than stalking. <laughs> you are a very nice young girl. A bit naive in the ways of the world, though. No. The young woman of whom I'm speaking has victimized my son on several occasions, each one more serious than the last. <sighs> maybe they were accidents. Oh. I don't think so, dear. These assaults, if you will, are clearly the product of some twisted person's mind. I mean, she might even be criminally insane. As soon as she's apprehended, I am going to make sure that she pays for what she's done. Are you all right, dear? You look a little pale. Would you like to sit down? No, thank you. I'll be okay. Oh, I have upset you. I am so sorry. And you're such a dear to care about my family so much. You know, Teresa, I am so glad you came by today. Oh, this is my son Ethan's room. Have you and he met? Uh, we've never been introduced. Well, we're going to remedy that right now. Oh. Oh. How's that, Ethan? Uh, it's much better. <sighs> Oh, she really got you, didn't oh. she? Oh. When I find this girl, Gwen, and I will find her, I'm going to get her for this.
fast, fast, Timmy. Fluffy's completely harmless. To you, lady. Every time you're not in the room, she attacks Timmy. She just gets you confused with her favourite scratching post. It's an easy mix-up. Timmy's telling you, Tabitha, that cat is the best argument for euthanasia he's ever seen. Don't you talk that way about Fluffy. You wouldn't want me to have to choose between the two of you, would you now, Timmy? There's a good boy. Now stay quiet so I can concentrate. <sighs> oh, spirits of the night, your servant Tabitha needs help. Is that what you're looking for? That old bowl? It's more than just an old bowl, Timmy. This is a very special receptacle. And right now, it's filled with rainwater that I collected at midnight last leap year. Mm. Oh, master of pain and blood-curdling cries, find me the girl with the big blue eyes. Not to interrupt the ceremony mm. or anything, but how is this going to help Tabitha and Timmy find that girl? Oh, master of pain and blood. Oh! I can see her. I see Charity. It's perfect. She's asleep. <laughs> 